find out who is secretly in love with you. Do you sometimes feel lonely and dream of finding true love? Well, don't despair. Chances are that there's somebody in your life right now who's secretly in love with you. If you can't wait to find out who it is, just take this simple seven question test. Each question will give you a certain amount of points and in the end, you'll need to total your score. So get your calculator ready because you're about to find out your one and only. One, how would you describe yourself in one word? A, hardworking, B, modest, C, loyal, D, adventurous. You've got 10 seconds to make this tough choice. Try to go with your gut. It'll give you the most honest answer. And now for the hardest part, math. If you see yourself as hardworking, you get 10 points. Those who have chosen modesty over anything else get zero points. If you chose letter C, you get 20 points for your loyalty. And if you are an adventurous one, 30 points are for you. Two, where do you spend most of your time? A, at home, B, hanging around town, C, at a friend's house, D, at school or work. Your 10 seconds start now. Which option describes where you like to park it most? Okay, let's see how many points you can add to your account. If your motto is, my home is my castle, add 30 points. If you can often be seen wandering around town, you don't get any additional points. If you prefer to spend most of your time over at a friend's place, add 20 points. And if you mostly see nothing but the walls of your office or school, collect your 10 points. Three, if you were in a jam, who would you call first? A, a family member, B, a good friend, C, anyone nearby, D, a neighbor. You only get to pick one, which one will it be? Your 10 seconds are ticking away. All right, let's see the points. If the first person who comes to your mind is someone in your family, don't add anything to the points you already have. If you immediately call your friend when you are in a pickle, add 20 points to your account. If you try to get any random person around to help you out, toss in 10 points. And if you decide to address your neighbor, 30 points are coming your way. Four, which season is your favorite? A, winter. B, spring. C, summer. D, fall. This choice shouldn't be too difficult, not unless you have two favorites. But remember, just choose one within the next 10 seconds. All right, let's check out the results. Winter lovers get 20 points. If you jump for joy when spring rolls around, you get zero points. If you can't get enough of that summer sun, you can add 30 points to your account. And finally, if you've fallen in love with fall, you get 10 points. Five, if you have some free time on your hands, you're most likely A, studying, B, shopping, C, singing, D, doing something else. Hmm, what if I spend all my free time knitting? Guess I'll have to go with something else. Oops, your 10 seconds are about over. Have you made your choice? If you like studying and have a real thirst for knowledge, 20 points go to you. All of the shopaholics out there, give yourself 10 points. And you beautiful nightingales that sing while doing the dishes, driving, taking a shower, or whatever, you get 30 points. And if your free time activity is considered something else, you get zero points. Well, I guess knitting isn't in anymore. Six, what's your idea of the perfect date? A, going to the movies, B, chatting over a cup of coffee, C, a romantic dinner, D, meeting at a bar. Already have your preference in mind? If not, 10 seconds might help you out. And now let's do some more math. 
Going to the movies brings you no extra points, but if you've chosen to chat with your date over a cup of coffee, you get 10 points. Those who would never turn down a romantic dinner, 20 points are for you. And if you're cool with just heading to a local bar, you can throw 30 points into your point basket. 7. Who do you spend most of your time with? A. Co-workers B. Friends C. Family D. Strangers For your final decision, you get 10 seconds again. Choose wisely. 8. If you're the type of person who prefers the company of co-workers, add 10 points. Hanging out with friends more often than not will bring you 20 points. And if you love spending time with your family, 30 points coming your way. And if you like to be surrounded by strangers, well, sorry, but you get no points at all. All right, the questions are over, but we've still got some calculations to do. How much time do you need to add up all your points? How about 10 seconds? I bet you're on the edge of your seat, dying to find out who's in love with you right now as we speak. Well, here are your results. From 0 to 50 points, your first crush. A while ago, you might have thought they didn't even notice you. But time has passed, and nowadays your first crush can't get you out of their head. You have grown into a confident and wonderful person. Your first crush has definitely noticed. So the real question is, what will you do with that knowledge? From 60 to 100, your coworker. Looks like love is in the air at your workspace. One of your coworkers is crazy about you, checking emails, helping customers, and daydreaming about you. Yep, that's their typical workday. How do you feel about office romances? Weigh all the pros and cons carefully before diving in head first. From 110 to 150, your best friend. Oops, it turns out that your best friend might want to be more than just friends. You have a loyal and beautiful personality, so it's no wonder their heart is on fire. But this person better pluck up the courage to confess their love for you, or you might end up leaving them in the friend zone forever. From 160 to 210, your neighbor. If you've been wondering why your neighbor keeps stopping by to ask a question or borrow some sugar, well, here's your answer. This person is simply in love with the cutie next door, AKA you, and they're just trying to use any chance to see you. How do you feel about your results? Do you think it's pretty accurate? Tell us in the comments below and share this video with your friends. Who knows, perhaps it'll help them find their true love. Remember to hit the like button if you had a good time taking the test.